it's freezing out here. It's actually 26 degrees, but we still play tennis in the winter. At least we do down south. So today's tip, I'm gonna flat out just dedicate it to my northern teammates. Back in the good old days, New Wilmington Yanks. Todd Shear hitting bombs. David Batley, probably the best catcher I've ever seen. We got Dan Cooper hitting bombs. We got Chet Duffy throwing the heat, southpaw pitcher. And it also goes out to my fellow Titan Tyke, inaugural Titan Tyke, Richie Haltunen. Yes, we play tennis down south, fellas. So, first thing you gotta do, you gotta show up with your big parka, all right? You gotta look good, all right? So you wear your team parka to the match, standing on the sidelines watching your teammates. But when you come down to play, here's what we gotta do. Take off your nice team jacket. It's layers. That's the secret to playing tennis in the winter. All right, I know it's windy, it's difficult, but I'm a big fan of layers. And your mom said that when you go skiing and you play sports outside to put on your layers. All right, get your nice Under Armour. They have this very breathable material, pulls the, the sweat off your body and it actually keeps you warm at the same time. Underneath your sweatpants, running tights, compression wear, big fan of that. I'm wearing them right now. You want me to show you? I'm just kidding. I'm a fan of Tommy Copper. They make some very comfortable running tights as well as Under Armour. Now, your hands get really cold out here when you're playing tennis. So I've got two types of gloves. These are some nice Under Armours. They're kind of thick. All right, they will keep you plenty warm. However, it might not be good to hold the grip. So I personally play in baseball batting gloves. They're thin enough to where you can still feel the grips, but also keep you warm at the same time. So, speaking of match play, last week I talked to you about the serve and the high percentage tennis that you need to play. Today, before we even start the match, and you're playing doubles, you gotta figure out who is going to serve. Let's say that my partner has got a great serve. And my serve's kind of weak. And we win the toss and my partner goes, we'll serve. My partner serves, the opponent serves, then I serve. So all of a sudden the first weak server gets their serve broken first. So it's a better strategy to choose to receive. Now, talking about cold weather, you're not really loosened up. It takes a while to get the blood flowing. That's another reason why you would choose to receive serve first, okay? One other element is the sun. What if you have a problem looking into the sun and you're the best server and you want to serve first? You might choose to what? Let them serve first. They choose to serve, you go, okay, we'll take this side. After the first game we switch, then the sun will be at your back, all right? Just those little things might change the difference in the match instead of serving into the sun and having a problem with the sun, all right? So that's one of the things I want you to talk about with your partner. How are you in the sun? Maybe I, I'm okay in the sun. They've got a problem with the sun. We know who's gonna serve into the sun. All right, I better hurry up and put my gear back on because it's freezing out here. All right, have a great day.